Let's go to the Egyptian numeration system. So in the Chinese one, we use characters, Chinese characters. But uh, the, G the Egyptians used hieroglyphics. So this would be pictorial symbols like we see here on the left. So for the Hindu-Arabic numeral 1, they use a stroke, a vertical line. And then for the 10, they, they use a heel bone. The, him, the heel bone uh, symbol, here is their, their symbol for scroll, which is equivalent to 100. And then uh, for the lotus flower, which is equivalent to 1,000. The pointing finger, equivalent to 10,000. The fish, equivalent to 100. And the astonished person equivalent to a million. Okay. So it also have additive properties, which means if you place the symbols together, that would uh, give you a larger uh, numeral. If you add, if you add the values of those symbols, the order also doesn't matter. What I mean to say in that one is, for this case, pare equal to 321, even though they, they, they are, the symbols are arranged differently. So we have three scrolls, three scrolls that means 100 times 3, 300. Two heel bones, that's two tens, so 20. And then one stroke, so 320 and 1, 321. These are just a rearranged uh, version of the first one. You can also arrange it this way. So pretty much uh, any way as long as they are together. There are no spaces bet between them. So 3,452, 3, how do we write that in e Egyptian hieroglyphics? So you can write it first in expanded form. So 3,000 plus 400 plus 50 plus 2. So 1,000 times 3, right? So their symbol for 1,000 is the lotus flower. That's why you have three lotus flowers here. We already know the scroll. That's for 100. So four of that. And then five of the hill bones. So you have five of this. And then two strokes for two. Okay? Okay, now this is a bit uh, this is a bit of a larger number. So we have two fishes. That's one hundred thousand. So two times one hundred thousand. Oh, three uh, finger pointing finger. So three times uh, that's ten thousand. We have a, a lotus flower. Lotus flower means 1,000 times 2. And then 4 scrolls, that's per 100. 1 hill bone, that's uh, a 10. And then 1 stroke. Or rather, three, 3 strokes. So that's a 3. If you add them together, that's two, 232,413. Okay. So how do we write this in Hindu-Arabic, this Egyptian hieroglyphics in Hindu-Arabic? First, let's, uh, can we first interpret them? So we have two lotus flowers, that's uh, 1,000. 1,000 uh, means in Hindu, in Roman numeral, rather, that's M, right? So we should have uh, two M's. Here is a scroll that's a hundred. Okay. And then a uh, heel bone, three of them. That's 30, four strokes, that's four. So to write 100 in Roman numeral is C, three stroke, uh, three heel bones, so 3x, and then 4 strokes, that's IV in Hindu-Arabic. Oh, okay, I wrote it in Roman numeral, sorry. In Hindu-Arabic, 
that's uh, we have one a thousand plus a hundred plus thirty plus four so one thousand one hundred and thirty four so we have here on the second one we have eight scrolls that's eight hundred and here we have four heel bones that's forty and then five strokes so you have eight hundred and forty five in Hindu Arabic or in our present day um, numeration system that we use in daily life. Oh, okay. I made a mistake here. Times 2. This is multiplied by 2. So 2,000, 2,134. Okay, they also do some addition. Uh, if you will take a look at this, it's quite cumbersome, no? Madami silang uh, sinusulat because of, because of how their numeration system is arranged. Okay, taking a look at this. So, you have to add 2,452 plus 1,263. So, right here above, is there hieroglyphics for this number for the 2452 below is for the 1263 simple addition there is just combining the symbols together so since you have two strokes and three strokes here now you have five since you have um, five heel bones and one two three four five six six heel bones down below uh, you have 11 now in the sum and so on and so forth but you can shorten this by finding uh, an equivalence so since you have 11 heel bones here pwede mo yung isulat uh, pwede nga kunin mo yung 10 heel bones and then you replace that with one scroll remember since 10 heel bones is equivalent to uh, one scroll or equivalent to 100 so you will have five strokes one heel bone and then instead of um, a six now you have one two three four five six seven a seven seven scrolls and of course three lotus flowers or equivalent to the sum of 3715 they also do some uh, subtraction even the varrowing as uh, you can observe here so we have a quite a large digit no 332 uh, and 246,000 minus uh, 101,512 okay so the issue seems to be that right here there are only two scrolls above but below there are five scrolls so you have to do some borrowing for the subtraction to happen katulad lang nung ginagawa natin mm, so they borrowed on the next on the next uh, numeral which is a lotus flower so a lotus flower is 1000 that means you have 10 scrolls in that 10 scrolls in, in a lotus flower. After the varrowing, looking at what happened, now you have 10 scrolls uh, with the 2 before. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this, is, this came from the 1 lotus flower. And you will notice that they, you only have 1 lotus flower left after the varrowing. So now you can perform your subtraction. So here, six strokes minus the two strokes, that's four strokes. Um, four heel bones and one heel bones is three heel bones. You now have a, a total of 12 scrolls minus the five, that would be seven, seven scrolls. 
the lotus flowers will cancel out you have you will bring down the pointing finger and the fishes here below oh no 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 there's a fish below here so you will be left with two so interpreting this in in hindu arabic you, you actually have uh, 230,734 as your answer. Mm, this one is 4. This one is 30. This one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 700 plus pointing fingers. That's uh, 10,000. So 30,000. And then two fishes, that's 200,000. That's why you have this digit. Okay, so let's do some addition using the Egyptian hieroglyphics. So 51, so I have to, I can do five heel bones. And then for the one, this is for the 50, for the one is one stroke. 43. Now that's four heel bones and three strokes. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is your sum. This is already your final answer. We will not be converting. Um, any of them to higher numerals, no? Kasi walang umabot. We only have 9 heel bones. But if we got 10 heel bones, we can replace that with a scroll. Here, we would like to do some subtraction. 254 minus 198. So, 254, we can have 2 scrolls to, for 200. For 50, we can have 5 heel bones. And for 4, we can have uh, 4 strokes. 198, 100, that's 1, scroll. 90, that's 9 heel bones. Two, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And 8 strokes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. Uh, now, taking a look at this, we have to do some borrowing here. So let's let's uh, let's say we borrow one of the heel bones. So we will put ten more strokes on the first uh, no, no, on the first uh, place value. So this would only be one, two, three, and four. Four is left. The original four strokes plus the ten that we will add. Ten. Uh, subtracted that by this. Six, seven, eight, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so what we have is fourteen strokes minus eight. 14 strokes minus 8, that would be 6, right? We would be left with 6 strokes. 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, now we, we, we have another problem here. We only have 4 heel bones and 9, but we have 9 below. So again, we have to do some borrowing. Let's take out one of the scrolls, which is composed of 10 heel bones. So we put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So 10 and 4, that's 14. Subtract that by 9. You are left with 5 heel bones. 2, 3, 4, and 5. This, uh, the scrolls will cancel out. So you are left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 strokes. So that's 56 in Roman numerals. So if you find that <laughs> quite a hassle, no, uh, you can you can uh, be in gratitude 
that uh, you didn't live in, in ancient Egypt before.